Okay, we are at the Todd Union studio of WRUR 88.5 at the University of Rochester. And we got a slight problem. That right there is one very dead fluorescent ballast. We get up here. And I hope you can see this on camera. It's hard to see given, well, the light doesn't work. But there is melted plastic on the bottom of that ballast. It's dripped onto the wires and the label's charred. I mean, for comparison, there's another ballast. This one's slightly newer than that one was, um, based on from what little I can still read of the label. Uh, but, yeah, I think you can kind of see the label on that, and it definitely looks older. Uh, yeah, can we say, uh, um, slight problem? Yeah, here's the piece that covered the ballast. And as you can see, the plastic has dripped very much onto here. Um, probably going to be a pain in the butt to clean that up. Um, but yeah, basically what happened was, earlier today, the, uh, the lights in here started switching, on, switching between being lit perfectly fine and flickering wildly. And, you know, at first I thought it was the fluorescent tubes that were going. So then I went to replace the tubes in it, and suddenly realized the tubes were quite hot. And quickly realized the ballast was even hotter. So I, uh, we killed the uh, circuit breaker, and once it cooled down enough to touch, popped the cover off, and found this mess. So, <laughs> once this thing cools down, We'll have to locate a new ballast for it. Yeah. And <laughs> once we locate it, we can put that in there and get that light working again. But for now, uh, we think we just averted a major fire, <laughs> quite frankly. So yeah, that's what's going on here, I guess. Okay, we are now in the engineering department of WRUR with the uh, offending fluorescent ballast. Uh, it's a couple days later now by the magic of video editing. Uh, I, I, I wish I could have done a video of the whole replacement process, but I was kind of in a rush at the time because we were broadcasting a concert that night. But maybe next time a ballast goes, I'll do a whole little how-to on how to replace those. But as I was taking this thing out, I did a little research, and it turns out this is not melted plastic at all. It is actually something a bit more si sinister, I guess you could say. That is melted tar, of all things. Apparently, this here is a magnetic ballast, um, not an electronic one as I had previously thought. Um, apparently, these older magnetic ballasts are internally packed in a brick of tar. I suppose to I suppose it was used as insulation. And what will happen? What happens is when these go, if the safety doesn't work right, they overheat which melts that brick of tar. And when tar melts, it expands. And when it expands, it leaks out the sides of the ballast. Thus producing the um, situation we have here, and the uh, issue we had, and then, of course, drip it dripped onto the wires, and onto the, um, the piece of metal that covers up the ballasts, and all that stuff, and man, was that fun to clean up. Yeah, cleaning up melted tar from a piece of metal is not fun especially when the only cleaning implement you have to do it with is Clorox wipes. So, <laughs> either way, that is the verdict here. The ballast has been replaced out there, um, and this now needs to be taken to be disposed of properly. And so yeah, that's what's going on around here. Um, but before I go, one more look at this rather epically failed ballast. <laughs> Yeah, that is probably the most, one of the most epic failures of any electrical device that I have seen. Um, I think this, I, I actually have to say, I think this beats the uh, burning CD drives that I dealt with in my high school's IT department. But um, those are a story for another time, <laughs> let me put it that way. Uh, I think I have a video of it somewhere, I'll post it at some point. But, anyway... This, I think, has to be the most annoying electrical failure I've ever put up with, and hopefully it'll never happen again, 
In fact, I might do a video of going through all the other lights in that hallway and trying to double check that they that none of them have these ballasts in them. Uh, so, but that'll be something for another time. So, in the meantime, I have to get this thing out of here before this melt before this tar gets on anything else. So, either way, thanks for watching, and hopefully, I will have more for you all soon.